we have reached the end of the Modern Warfare 2 beta, and we now have to wait one month to play it again. This is going to be the longest wait that I have dealt with for a while, especially since I have to go back to Modern Warfare 19. <laughs> but there were things that I liked about this beta, and there were other things that I disliked about this. So this video is going to be more directed toward Infinity Ward and anybody else that's in charge with this game. Now, I know that I'm not really a big content creator, but feedback matters from everybody, big or small, because that's the purpose of a beta, to get feedback from players to improve the game for when you fully launch it. First of all, the changes to the gunsmith are actually really nice. Having all these different receivers, and you can unlock attachments for one receiver and it'll transfer over to the other receivers, or even in some cases, unlock that attachment for all of the guns in the game. That is going to be super helpful, especially for somebody like me, because of course I mainly play Search and Destroy, and I also like to grind for the mastery camo on the side. How you have the gunsmith is going to make that so much easier. And if the weapon leveling is as fast as it was in the beta, that's going to make it even better. Now, for the maps, we had four different maps to mess around with. My favorite one in terms of S&D was honestly Mercado. That map played really well for S&D. But my least favorite though, to be completely honest with you, and this might surprise some of you, was actually Farm 18 due to one main thing. The A-bomb. Offense can get there really quick, and sometimes even get the bomb down before anybody even reaches it. So, I feel that with a change to the bomb site placement for A, that map would probably play a lot better. Now, I don't think it should be placed in middle anywhere, because that would make it much more chaotic than it needs to be. Now, for a hot topic in the community, Dead Silence. Should it be a field upgrade, or should it be a perk? Me, personally, I think it should stay as a field upgrade. And I have seen on Twitter from Infinity Ward themselves that they are committed to keeping it as a field upgrade, which is good, because it makes you play a lot smarter. I mean, yes, it does promote camping, which I am going to get to in a later topic in this video. This beta has actually been one of the most polished betas that I have played out of all of the ones that I played. Not very many bugs, not very many glitches, although I did experience a lot of crashing on both the PlayStation beta and the PC beta. Now, I'm not sure if the crashing issue was addressed on PlayStation, but it has been addressed on PC, which is good. I've only crashed, I think, one other time after they addressed that on PC. The perk packages? It was a little bit confusing at first, but the way I see it, it's kind of like everybody has Specialist by default. Now, if regular Specialist was put in the game, then I'm honestly not entirely sure how that would work out. And the ledge hang? I actually really like that. It could set up for some pretty interesting plays. Now, the stuff that I wasn't really a fan of and I feel needs to be changed. Going back to Dead Silence. It got nerfed pretty heavily compared to Modern Warfare 19. It gave you an animation now, and it also made a noise whenever you pop it for everybody in the lobby except for you. That is going to pose a little bit of an issue. Another thing, visibility. There were times where the lighting was way too dark and there were enemies right in front of me in the room that I was trying to look at and it made it very difficult for me, and it's actually gotten me killed a few times. So the lighting needs to be brighter on some of the maps. The visual recoil was a little much too. Made it a little bit tricky to track people at a distance. And of course I play keyboard and mouse, but it still made it a little bit tricky. And also sprint to fire, I feel like that could be sped up a little bit. The sprint to fire was a little bit too slow, especially for somebody that likes to rush. And also the time to kill, sometimes it felt really quick and other times hit reg just wasn't there. It just felt a little bit inconsistent at times, but 
if it stayed consistent, it actually felt a little too quick. So TTK, I feel, should be toned down a little bit. And going back to something that promotes camping, with Deadly being a field upgrade, the footsteps are way too loud. And I know they did nerf the range at where you can hear those footsteps, but I feel like they should still be toned down a little bit more. Like, not just the range at where you can hear them, but the footstep audio itself is a little too loud. Another thing that I didn't like was the fact that you couldn't really reload cancel. Now, yes, it is possible, but if you stopped your reload at a certain time, when you pulled your weapon back out, you still had to finish the reload. I'm not really a huge fan of that, and it has gotten me killed a few times in uh, instances where I was reloading and I had to cancel it because somebody was challenging me, but it forced me to keep reloading my gun. I think that should be reverted back to how it was before. Also, the UI. It was very clunky and very confusing. Modern Warfare 19, Vanguard, and Cold War all had very simple UIs, and I feel like the UI style should be reverted back to how those three games had it. This could pose a pretty serious health issue. In between rounds, during final kill cams, and at the end of games, the game would end up flickering, which could pose a pretty serious health issue for those that may be prone to epilepsy. So that needs to be fixed ASAP. Another thing, the helmet cam is a cool concept for spectating to kind of make it more realistic. But I wish we had the option to spectate in first person, especially if we were to catch somebody that may be cheating. And there weren't nameplates over the enemies whenever you looked at them. That has actually made me miss enemies that were sitting in a corner right in front of me and gotten me killed a few times. So please, please add nameplates over the enemies' heads whenever you're aiming in at them. And there are a couple of things that won't really steer me away if they were to be changed. First thing, the minimap. The, how they had the minimap was actually okay, where the red dots only showed on the minimap if there was a UAV. Although, something that people didn't notice. You get red dots on the compass if somebody were to fire an unsilenced weapon. Now, I know people prefer having the red dots on the minimap when an unsuppressed weapon's fired, but me? That's not going to steer me away from playing. I just want to play COD. Another thing, and I know this is going to be a hot one, slide canceling. The only time I would do a slide cancel, like in Modern Warfare 19, is if either A, I'm about to challenge somebody that I've seen to help with the sprint to fire, or B, if I hear somebody and want to wait for them to peek through, that's not going to steer me away. If it's there, it's there. If it's not, no big deal. And that's going to pretty much be it. Be sure to tag Infinity Ward with this video to try to get this information out there. It would be very much appreciated. I want to try to help them improve their game as much as I can, especially with how small of a following I have. And I can't wait to play again this October. But that's pretty much going to do it for me. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I hope to catch you guys in the next video. Peace.